Hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Today I'm going to be doing a species profile on the cherry barb, also known as Punchius titia, which that scientific name has likely changed since the the genus Punchius is going through revision right now. They were formerly part of the genus Barbus, which went under revision as a result they got split up too. But let's go on to the cherry barb. Now, in my opinion, the cherry barb is the best species of barb there is available of the three major popular species which are of course the tiger barb and the cherry barb and the the green barb which is commonly sold as the gold barb now the reason why I'm saying that the cherry barb is the best is that it does not have the fin nipping tendencies that the tiger barb has you can obviously tell my bad fish here is not nipped up because these cherry barbs they do not nip fins I've never once seen one take a nip of the fins now, um, one thing that I like about cherry barbs is that it, it's quite easy to tell which ones are male and which ones are female. Obviously, the males are these very red ones, while the females are drabber. Well, I wouldn't say they're drabber. They're not as red. The females, I say, they're quite colorful, but they're just not as red as the males. Now, one thing I can recommend to you is that if you're going to buy cherry barbs, don't buy all males. Buy a mix of males and females. I got equal ratio right now. I got three males, three females. And the thing that's good about keeping them with that ratio is that you'll get to see more interesting behavior. Like right now, these two males here, the two largest males, they were uh, displaying to each other. And that just adds excitement to your tank. So you get trade barbs, get males and females. Now, the physical aspects of trade barb is they're small fish. They don't grow any bigger than two inches in the wild. And the common length in the wild is actually one inch. And most aquarium specimens you're going to see are going to be the size of mine. My guys here, they're no bigger than an inch and a half. They're low guys. And yeah, my finger just looks kind of giant because it's closer to the camera, but oh well. But um, they're a good community fish for a gal like 10 gallon tanks. And I got six in a 20 gallon. And um, since they're showing fish, I would recommend keeping them in a group of six or more. Personally, I actually wanted to get more cherry barbs, maybe three more. But I haven't gotten to around doing that yet. But I might do that before I go back to university. Just get a bit more of them. Because they're just a really good chilling fish. They don't need very specific water parameters. They like pH between 6 and 8. They are temperature between 20 and 27 degrees. Now as for the hardness. They're pretty flexible in hardness. They just don't like super soft water or super hard water. They're a good all around easy community fish to keep. That's why I like the cherry barb so much. And they're actually the first part species I've actually kept, so... But I've read and done my research on the air species, and I like this species the most. Trey Barb is, therefore, easily my favorite shoaling fish that I've ever bought. I like them more in Neon Tetras, like more in Zebra Danos, like more in Giant Danos. So if you're interested in getting a really, really good species of strolling fish, or a species of barb, go to Cherry Barb. And I'm going to recommend that if you want to do some research on them, go to seriouslyfish.com or any specialty site. I'm pretty sure there must be a specialty site on barbs and breeding. Now, if you, any of you guys have bred these guys, please tell me about it because I'm pretty sure that I've seen mine spawn in my aquarium without me doing anything real whatsoever. So I've seen my females get these big swollen bellies and then the next day the big swollen belly is gone. So I assume they spawned. So um, that's all I'm going to say about the cherry barb. I'm just going to say cherry barb is easily... Just a really awesome aquarium fish for starters and for advanced aquarists also. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.